<clears throat> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and guess who's back? Mr. Dark Libby! Hello, sir. Thank you for having me. Great to be back. Good to see you again. Last time I saw you was in person at, at Universal. At Studios. Universal, yeah. And then and then the last time, and then you went off to Disney and hung out with Sean for a bit, huh? I did. Yes, I did. That was the first time I'd met Sean in, uh, in person as well. That was a, that was a good trip. It was nice. like a, a trip of first time meeting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's been I've, it's it's been really cool actually. Just in the last year or so, like being being able to actually meet some of these people that you only interact with on Twitter. Um, and but it's and it's nice to actually like get to know them as people because mm. Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a whole bunch of words with a logo and a uh, username, exactly. but like, mm -mm. like, see, your camera makes you look like some tall here, but in reality, you're not like seven feet. You're like a normal size type. Well, I'm not even normal sized. I am a small. <laughs> I'm a tiny human. Yeah, see, because when when you were I met you that time in Universal, I was like, man, this guy's gonna be like six, seven, because the camera's up so high. I was like, man, he's so tall. So I'm, I came down the escalator looking for just a really tall guy, and I'm like, oh wait, there he is. <laughs> the camera's playing tricks on me. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I I work from a standing desk and it's motorized, so I can raise and lower it and raise and lower the camera. So. That's I, I make myself look much bigger than I am. Yeah, I love those. We have those that oh, work. Those are cool. Um, but yeah. So and you're coming back to Legoland this time. Woohoo! Yeah, I tell us how that experience went. Because on Twitter, I saw you're like canceling hotels and booking hotels and canceling them. What was happening there? No, it was. It was just. It was. It's. It's kind of a last minute trip and like. So, I'll, I'll be here. So the 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 downside of my totally awesome job, in that I get to actually cover theme parks for a living, um, the downside of it is I don't plan vacations. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, like you know, when when most of us do Disney or do Universal or whatever we're going to do theme park wise, like we're planning these things months in advance, generally. Like when you go on vacation, you plan that stuff in advance. And so you and you book your hotel and you get your tickets and you do all the stuff. Um, I don't generally do that because oftentimes when I'm going to a park, it's for work. And that usually happens, you know, fairly last minute. Um, and so the, and so this Legoland thing ended up being kind of a last minute trip. And um, and so I, I wanted to get a room in one of the Legoland hotels, but they were booked. Um, and so, all right, fine. I'll just, I, so I bought tickets. I booked a hotel close by, did all that. But I've been like stalking the Legoland website for the last two weeks in case, mm -hmm. in case a room opened up. Um, like I even, and like, like most of their rooms they do is like a package deal where you get tickets. So like... Mm -hmm. I spent the extra 10 bucks when I bought my Legoland park tickets to get the ability to cancel them. Mm -hmm. In case I was able to book one of the packages with tickets. And then literally like an hour ago, that the room, a guy, I was able to get a room for a couple of nights. I booked that. I canceled my other hotel. I canceled the other park tickets because I'm getting the park tickets and it's been wild, crazy stuff, but it ended up working out and I'm, you know, spending a bit more, bit, bit more money because you know the Legoland hotels are not the cheapest hotels, but that's what happens with theme park hotels. Generally. But they are really cool looking hotels. That's you know, and that's part of why I'm doing it. Is I figure you know, I, I hear they're they're great, so I wanna I wanna check them and out. Really and they're really pretty well like. themed. Like inside the rooms look really cool. Honestly, like yeah. like which are you saying at the Castle Hotel or the Legoland Hotel? Um, I'm trying to be like, I think, I think it's the castle hotel. I'm not even like, it happened so fast. It was like, I woke up, I checked the computer. There was a room. I was like, Ch -ch -ch, okay, booking it now. I, I, I'm in the castle hotel. I am pretty sure. Yeah. Like that's like the newest one. And that one's really cool. Like there's like nights in the room and the beds look cool. It's like, like, wow. I feel like you wouldn't ever want to leave. You have to send us pictures or at least okay, share. Yeah. That will. 
Twitter. Three day, for two days, you know, next week, Twitter will be probably nothing but pictures of Lego Land. <laughs> yeah, because those hotels are probably more themed than like certainly our Disney hotels. Like they actually have Legos in them. It's great. It's so cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Should be looking forward to it. Should be fun. And in the last time I've been to Lego Land, watch this. Ready? There's no water park. There's no Sea Life Aquarium. There's low Lego Chima. There's no hotels. Uh, there was um, not even a water water ride. That whole pirate area wasn't there. That's how long ago it's been. I'm actually going back on August, sorry, September 2nd. So I'm very excited. Very cool. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a few years since I've been there. So, uh, and I haven't, I, looks like I, I think the water park and everything was there, but I didn't go there. So we'll be checking it out. Yeah, like my park is probably doubled in size since I've last been there, which is insane. Are you going to do the aquarium as well? I think so. Yeah, probably. Because I know there's like combo tickets and stuff with what to get you to park hop. Yeah, yeah. We got the we got the the park hopper tickets to get us the the theme park, the water park, and the aquarium. So I'm sure we will spend at least a little bit of time in in all of them. <laughs> Three and one. So what are you most excited for? What was your favorite ride? The one and only time you went to Lego Land. You know, God, I don't even know. Um, like like Legoland is kind of a blur. That one was. Uh, <laughs> I went with we went with friends and we did like I mean we did Disney we did Universal and we did Legoland I think all on the same trip. Um, and so that whole trip is kind of a blur. So I I feel like I feel like I've never been to Legoland even though I know I have been. I don't really remember it. Um, ah, so it would be like almost like a brand new like it, was, it was post first Lego movie because they have like they had the 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 Lego movie show in there that's like one of the few things i actually remember doing and i think i think the roller like uh that like i remember the ninjago ride i do remember that one that one was kind of fun um i think you know i, I think that the roller coaster kind of the main roller coaster there i think was down for refurbishment so i don't think i had a chance to do that so oh the technic blue looking coaster mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that one. Uh, I have, uh, yeah, that one's a good play. They used to have a suspended coaster, and I took it away. That's one last time I was there. No, two times ago when I was there, like over, over fifteen years ago, that the suspended coaster. I was like, that looks super. I've never seen anything like it in any theme park. And they took it away. So I think it was having problems, but it was so cool. I wish it was there. Like you got in these little buckets. You went up on an elevator and then you just glided along down the rail and then you raced the other person. Super fun. This does Super sound. fun. Like insane. Is your daughter? She's never been then. If yeah. you've only been one time, she's or, yeah, she's, she's only she's only five. So she yeah, you know, yeah, she's. Does she's, she like the Lego movies? She she has not watched the Lego movies. She doesn't. She hasn't watched a lot of movies. But although she could probably watch the Lego movies, I'll have to keep those in mind. Yeah, those are fun, especially the Lego Batman. It's my favorite Lego movie of all time. One of my favorite movies. It's so funny. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Isn't it hilarious? You know, all the all the Lego movies are are good. It's it's. Sad, honestly, that Warner Brothers lost the rights to that because, like, they're all really good and I could certainly make more of them. Yeah, like, good. Lego DC movies are better than actual DC movies, and that's the real sad part. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not even going to respond because Twitter will be all over me. <laughs> oh, the Twitters! The Twitters! Oh boy. So are you just going to Legoland? Are you also going to Disneyland or Universal or not or anything? Uh, we're just just gonna do Legoland on this trip. Um, yeah, I was I was going when when I was planning it initially. I was going back and forth between doing Disney versus doing Lego, and you know it's always tough to not go to Disney because it's it's so easy and so much fun. But uh, decided to do something a little bit different. 
And uh, so we're going to do Lego on this trip. And I'm going to hold off on, you know, I'll, I'll be back at Disney before too long. <laughs> are you going to like write, since you haven't been to Legoland, have you, can, are you going to write an article about it? Oh, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I will write something. I don't know what yet. That's, you know, it will depend on how, how it strikes me, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. You know, but I also I figure, hey, if I write something about it, it becomes a business expense, and then the fact that the hotels were really expensive doesn't hurt quite so much. <laughs> exactly. See, it's like a, it's a win for a win right there. Exactly. And I feel like you can write a whole thing just on Miniland alone. That's my favorite portion. Like that's like the heart. Yeah, but yeah, no, I'm definitely like. I mean, one of the things I'm kind of trying to I'm trying to expand the. Cinema Blend coverage on theme parks in general. But part of the reason I decided to do Legoland was just to be able to write more about other places. You know, so much of what I write is either Disney or Universal. And, you know, to a certain extent, that's because that those are the places that most people want to read about. Um, so that's what I'm going to write about. At the same time, like, I, I do want to expand more and write about more places. Um, and when I do write about more places, you know, I, it, Tend, it tends to get read, you know, like when I occasionally when I do a new story about SeaWorld or, you know, Cedar Fair, like it's surprising sometimes that how many people are reading that. Like I, I did a, I did a piece on Cedar Fair a couple of weeks ago, and it was mostly as an experiment to see if people cared. And it turns out they did. Um, so I need to. I need to reach out to those parks more and get, you know, do more news and do more features. And then hopefully at some point actually get out to those parks and, and experience them so I can write about them firsthand. When's the last time you went to SeaWorld? Um, oh God, it's been a million years. I haven't been there since I was a kid. It's a totally different place than, than it was. I initially, I was initially looking at trying to do SeaWorld on this trip, but a lot of just, you know, since a lot of the rides are pretty big coasters and my, my kid is not tall enough for them. So, mm -hmm. and since it was, it's just going to be me and her. So like, I can't even go ride them myself. Yeah. So I was like, eh, all right, it's not really going to be worth it on this trip. We'll, we'll make SeaWorld a future trip. Yeah. See, oh, wow. We haven't been in a while. It's, Completely, completely different over there, man. Yeah, no, I mean it was, you know, it was, it was, an, it was still very much an animal park when I was there last. Um, you know, I'm not even sure they had rides. I mean, they probably had some. But. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days in Seattle. Yeah, I didn't even know if they had a ride except for the Sky Tower. But you know, that's when my mom used to take me when I was also young, like below 10. It was very, very interesting. Um, let's see. So, guess what? What? It's July 30th. You know what's coming up in a couple of months? Two things. Horror Nights and D23. Going to be a busy, busy, busy fall, yes. Are you going to either... Um, at, not at this point that I'm aware of. Um, I know, uh, the last D23, which was a few years ago, I know there was, they, 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 tr the, the site tried to send me, but we couldn't get enough media passes out of, out of Disney. Um, and honestly, like when it comes to, when it comes to covering those events, it's actually easier not to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so it's like, you know, I mean, with especially since like D23, they, they you know, they live stream at least some of it. So like I can still watch it while I'm home. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, and it's much easier to write about it at my computer while it's happening than it is being in the room. Um, so as far as covering it, it's actually easier to a certain extent to not be there. So um, at this point, as far as I know, I'm not going to D23. Maybe somebody will tell me different in the next month or so, but we'll find out. Um, and as far as Horror Nights goes, um, I'm certainly going to try and make it down. Um, but that's going to be another case of, like, I'm sure they will do media events 
I'm hoping that the site is invited to those media events, but even if we are, it doesn't mean that I will go. Um, just because, like, I mean, I like if if Orlando invites us to a Horror Nights media thing, like I have people on the East Coast who would love to go. Um, and if California invites us, I have people that are in Southern California that are easier to get there than me. Um, and so that'll be kind of a, a figuring it out sort of uh, thing schedule wise. Um, I certainly, you know, uh, Horror Nights is weird for me because I'm not like, I'm a total wuss. <laughs> No, like, so, yeah, because that's my next question. Like, like, would you go for just for fun as like a guest? Yeah, well, yeah, and I and I might, you know, we'll see. But it's like, but like, I've never got like I'm a total wuss when it comes to horror stuff. Like jump scares get me every time. I could be <laughs> watching, I could be watching a movie I've seen before, and no one is coming. And there's a fifty percent chance the jump scare is still gonna make me throw my popcorn in the air. <laughs> um, like that's just that's just the way my that I am, and so like horror nights sort of I'm a little bit nervous about doing horror nights because like jump scares in person I'm afraid that the jump scares would just destroy me. Um, yeah. So I've oh, like, um, so never I, been before. Right. Well, that's that's the thing. So it's it's like on the one hand, like you know, at some point I will go. Whether it's this year or some at some point in the future, at some, I will make it to, to at least one horror nights at some point because I have to. Um, but I don't know if I make it this year or not. Uh, we will see. Um, you know, like but you know, this year has some some cool stuff. Um, but uh, so we'll see. I don't know. The site will certainly be there one way or another, whether or not it's actually me. Mm. But yeah, no. Interesting. I, I, what does your cup say? Oh, this is uh, this is uh, Film Joy, which is a YouTube channel. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if people are into, I thought Mikey Newman. I, I know. I said the logo. I saw like one of the letters. I thought it said OnlyFans. I'm like, you have an OnlyFans cup? <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay, Steven. <laughs> I don't know if, if if people want to pay me to listen to me talk about theme parks. I could I could, <laughs> I could set up one, but <laughs> I was like, "Wow, you know, like, it'd be a very different use of the site, I suppose." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, yeah. yeah Horror night. Mm -hmm. I, because I feel like I feel like you might be okay. Because you know, most at least at Universal, most of the time, you know. You can see the little holes where they're going to pop out. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> even, if, even if I know that something, even if I know that, like, oh, there's going to be a jump scare right there. <laughs> if it happens, it will probably still make me jump. Even if I'm well aware that it is happening, it's just the way that my mind and body work. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, no, I'm, it's, I mean, like, I mean, I th I'm sure, I'm sure I would still have a lot of fun. Like I mean, but it, but it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, I am very. I'm. I'm curious how I would react to horror nights, just because I know okay. that that's the way it works for me. I have a. We have a plan. Sean, Jess, uh, on Andrea, 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 <laughs> King the car, and I, and you will go, and you're. And then we'll put you right. We'll, we'll form a shield around you, and walk through like that. <laughs> I am. I, I am. I am down with this idea, mostly because a couple of those folks I haven't actually met yet, and I would love to just hang out with them. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah right. no, that would be that would be perfect. Yeah, if you guys could just surround me, um, protect me, and then you know when I bounce into you, you can keep me from from falling over. That, yes, that's not perfect. I'm. I am down with that. I mean. See, that will be totally fine because I almost got literally my arm ripped off by my friend at Horror Nights who was crying and wanted to sprint out of the maze but she's holding on to my hand. So she almost dislocated as she's trying to sprint out of the exit. She goes, there's the exit. And zoom! I'm like, I'm like, hold on! And I fell. And I'm like, and then we all fell because they're all in a little, little chain link. And we all, she took us all down. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh no. Yeah, no, it's... At, you know, at, at some point I've got to, <clears throat> at some point I gotta, I've got to check out Horror Nights, uh, absolutely. But 
but uh, yeah, it's, I mean, because it is like, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's prime universal period, right? I mean, there's really mm. no, there is no better time to be at either universal park than Halloween. Uh, really is that I that's the that. shining that's a shining shining spot right there so. it is definitely the second best event i've ever been to yeah what's the what's the best <laughs> oh not scary farm i have heard good things about that one as well that one wow i went last year for the first time i was blown away I'll never forget it. I rushed back the next week. That's how good it was. Blown away in every aspect. The atmosphere, the shows, riding the rides in the complete darkness, the shows, the mazes, the shows, and the atmosphere, the atmosphere, and the atmosphere. Woo! The whole park is a scare zone, so the monsters will just go everywhere. And then there's separate, there's Themed scare zone that there'll be a lot of monsters in. Then when you're out of them, you're not out of them because there's still be monsters wa wandering around. And sometimes you think they're just guests; they're just walking normally. All of a sudden, you, they turn. And there's a big scary mass, and you're like, "Woo, woo!" The whole night, I don't jump. Not scary farm. Each time I jumped at least two times. Awesome. And not from the mazes, but from that. There's people walking around the park, even in Camp Snoopy. Camp Snoopy's not safe. That doesn't seem right. Uh oh. Froze. Froze. Oh, there. We're back. <laughs> but yeah, so you gotta get yourself to not scary farm as well. There's so like I mean, there's so much stuff, man. Like that's the hardest part in my job is like. You know, how do I like it's like oh there's so much stuff especially and especially Halloween it's like you've got not scary farm you've got horror nights you've got you know oogie boogie and in Orlando you've got not so scary and like SeaWorld does like every theme park and amusement park in the country is doing something at Halloween and it's like mm -hmm. you know like try, I mean and I'm like I'm trying to cover all of it but I can't actually like I can't actually spend every day in a theme park uh, as much as I might want to. <laughs> you can just live at the hotel. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Cinema Blend is gonna is gonna uh, put put limits on how much of their money I'm allowed to spend on stuff. <laughs> Man. And they've been very nice to, and let me spend and let me spend some of their money from time to time, but there are going to be limits. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Shout out to Cinema Blend. Um, <laughs> So, for D23, what do you think will be announced for us here at the resorts and oh, party panel? You know, um, you know, I'm I'm bad at predictions, generally speaking. Um, so, I mean, I mean, I think let's see. So, resort announcements at D23. I think we will probably get an actual opening date, you know, opening season probably for Tron. Um, that that seems like the most obvious thing that we will see because we know that's coming. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and we may get, uh, we may get some sort of a more specific opening date beyond early next year for the new Toontown. Um, since that's the stuff that we know is happening that's in progress. Mm -hmm. um, you know, beyond that, um, I don't know, maybe some, maybe some, uh, info on the future of, of Dino Land and Animal Kingdom. Um, I mean, I think we, I, I think we know that area is probably going to be undergoing some sort of overhaul. Um, so maybe we'll get some details on what that will be. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I mean, I don't necessarily think there are going to be a lot of huge groundbreaking announcements. Um, I, I think we're, you know, I mean, I, Disney for the next couple of years kind of is, I think is laid out, you know, we're going to get next year in Orlando is going to be the year for Tron and in California, it's going to be the new Toontown. 
um, and the new downtown Disney, which is, you know, well, I guess, I mean, you know, you know, I, and, and we still don't know what's happening with like Disneyland forward as far as what the specific plan there is going to be. So they're not, they're probably not in a position to talk about that. Um, you know, until, until Disney figures out what it is they want to do and until they can get the city of Anaheim to sign off on whatever that is, um, they're not really going to be in a position to talk much about that. Um, so I don't think, I mean, I think that's, that's going to be the next big thing when we, when we get there, whenever that is a few months from now, a year from now, once, once Disney and Anaheim come to some agreement on what Disney can do, then they can put a plan together and then they can announce, Hey, you know, the new Disneyland resort coming in 2028 or whatever it is. Um, and that's going to be, you know, you know, the equivalent of opening a new theme park because we'll probably, because it's essentially going to be that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think we're probably still several months away from even talking about it. Unless, unless Disney and Anaheim have been chatting behind the scenes and they have come to more of an agreement than we're aware of, in which case, maybe we will get some of that at D23. Um, but I, I don't suspect so. And we're also getting Tiana news at D23. Yeah. Um, I mean, at this point, I mean, we have, we, it has a name. It has, an, it has a, a schedule. I guess maybe that would be the, the, the one thing that we don't know that we might get at D23 is uh, a date for when Splash Mountain closes. Um, I think that's, I mean, at this point. Yes. Think, and maybe some of the show scenes or something. Yeah. Um, I think we've only got two pieces of concept art. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, at this point, it's all concept art because until they actually start doing the work, there's nothing to show. Um, so I think, you know, that may be that may be the big piece of news for Tiana that we might get is when does Splash Mountain close? Um, I've sort of heard that it could, you know, I mean, it could happen as early as this fall. So, I mean, you know, we could be getting word in early September at E23 that in two weeks or in a month, Splash Mountain closes. Um, so, I, you know, if it is happening that soon, then certainly we will get that piece of information. Um, and then or or even, even worse news, that it closes on the, right after they announce it in the set. It closes uh, at noon after the panel is at 10.30. It closes today, yes. Yes. And the big news, guys, the part, uh, Tiana will open in 2024, and for that, Splash Mountain has to close in uh, one hour. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, they probably won't do that, but there are reasons why that wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, <laughs> I just do it that fast. Because at least that way, because that way, like, you just get, because you know there's just going to be so many people who are going to throw a fit. Mm -hmm. like, like, they've been throwing a fit for a year and a half already, and they're not going to stop until well after Tiana opens. Um, but you would, you would, you would cut some of that off by just being like, yeah, it closes tomorrow. Like, we're just, mm -hmm. we're just not going to deal with that with you guys because uh, it's just not worth it. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. But yeah, I mean, I think I think that's probably, you know, if it is going to get, if it is closing, you know, this year, then I think then certainly we will get that date at D23. Um, and then they can start work on the new stuff. And then as that work happens, they can start telling us more about what the new one is going to be. Hmm. So what's your most anticipated? Well, wait a second. How about tomorrow? Anything with Tomorrowland? There's a lot of people moving things going around. A lot of Tomorrowland I, walls and random stuff. Scott Trowbridge with the um, saying he's walking around the motorboat cruise area. Mm, something's a brewing, Stark. Something. I, I mean, believe me. 
I I I am certainly on team. Let's re let's let's renovate Tomorrowland. Um, it needs to happen, and I would love to see it happen sooner than later. Um, and I just like I mean, someone like the people mover thing is one of those rumors that I'm I'm not going to put a lot of stock in, and that doesn't mean that I'm not entirely wrong. And wouldn't love to be wrong. Like if they do bring back the people mover in any capacity at Disneyland, I will be a happy guy. I just don't think that that is actually going to happen. Um, as as far as a more general, it's you know we're, they're doing going to do some stuff to update Tomorrowland in some capacity. Um, I I certainly hope so, um, and and would love to see it. Um, and I, you know, and I guess, you know, that is maybe, I mean, the thi I guess the thing is with the Splash Mountain update is happening sooner than later, even if they are not closing it down quite yet. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be a pretty extensive, you know, overhaul of, of that ride. I mean, Splash Mountain is just, it's just huge, you know, and they're going to, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's, they're going to be updates. I mean, the ride itself ultimately will stay the same. But everything else about it is going to change, um, and just the just the, the 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 space in there, and the animatronics that they're going to need to replace, and all that. There's a lot of work going on there. So I don't necessarily. So between that and Two Town currently happening, I don't expect anything else significant to be happening at Disneyland until that stuff is done or close to it. Um, so you know, if there is if there is a plan for new stuff in Tomorrowland, you know, there's a good chance they will announce it. If you know, if there is that plan, but I but at the same time, like that, I don't think that I don't see that work getting started anytime soon. Like, and it's and and I don't know. Depending on how far out we are talking, I don't know if they really are ready to talk about it yet. Um, I mean, even the Splash Mountain situation, I think they clearly they clearly announced that change a lot earlier than they otherwise would have. Um, yeah, you know, I I will give Disney the benefit of the doubt that they that they you know, they say that they were already planning this this change to Splash Mountain before people started asking for it a couple of you know a year and a half ago. Um, and and I will I will happily accept take them at their word on that, but I do think they announced the change earlier than they would have because of the outcry that was happening. Um, and what's and all that's happened because they did that is people have been waiting, and and it's like okay, you said you were going to do this, nothing's happening. What's going on? Um, and so I and so I don't necessarily expect you know. That they're going to announce, oh hey, we're going to redo Tomorrowland at Disneyland, and it's going to be years down the road. Like I, you know, uh, so I, I, I would love to see something there, but I'm not sure. And you know, and and it, and and we might get something as simple as a tease that is going to happen, like you know, mm. without without any specifics, just saying, oh yeah, and when this other stuff is done, we're going to be focusing on Tomorrowland and we're in the early stages of that and we're not going to say a word about specifics because we don't even have them yet and people you know I guess I mean because saying that they'll do it will excite people even if we don't necessarily know what's going to happen do you think they'll be doing it all at once if they do it or in little phases while keeping the land open um I think they'll I think they will certainly keep the land open as much as they can um that I mean it's uh, is you know it's it, it it's too it's too much real estate in Disneyland to to close it entirely unless they absolutely have to you know if if we are talking a level of renovation that requires closing the land down entirely then I then I'm sure they will do that but I don't I don't foresee that like it just you know Space Mountain is still one of the most popular spots in the entire park it always will be um so even if you're just, you know, you know, even if you're putting up walls and there's a pathway from the hub straight to Space Mountain, like 
you know, that's that's going to happen if assuming that it can, um, you know, and they'll, you know, if if part of the renovation means closing Space Mountain, they will do that, but they will probably do it in a way that they can leave other stuff open. Um, yeah, shutting down Tomorrowland would be a, a pretty heavy situation. Um, I don't see that happening unless it's absolutely necessary, you know. And and you know, and if they do have to close it down, you know, they'll do that for as little time as possible. So yeah, I think we'll we'll see it done in, in phases as much as they can. Yeah. Um, what would you want from a new Tomorrowland? You know what? You know, there is one specific thing that I want, and I'm I'm not the one who invented this idea. I saw somebody else on Twitter come up with it at some point, mm -hmm. but I think the uh i want to see uh like the carousel of progress in avengers building turned into like a space 220 restaurant or Ooh. or something like that um i feel like you could just i mean i feel like you could just knock that building down and build space 220 right there um i i would love to you know i love the food in theme parks more than, well, maybe not more than the attractions, but almost as much. Um, and I like nice, I, I like nice, you know, higher end dining when I have the chance to do it. And, um, and I wish Disneyland, like, I feel like Disneyland doesn't have that restaurant, you know, like. Yeah, we barely have any sit down restaurants at all. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, a, it's, you know, I mean, the I, I like the Blue Bayou, but even, but Blue Bayou is all about the atmosphere. Um, like, the, you know, being inside next to the attraction is really cool. Um, but I would, you know, I would even love a little bit higher end, you know, dining wise. Um, but that's like the only spot. And like, I feel like Disneyland could use another nicer, restaurant um and so something like that i think would would go well you know that that space really isn't being used at all now so it's like you could put some kind of an attraction in there that would certainly be nice to have but if but if that space is never an attraction again you know i think it's that's okay so that would be the main thing that i would that i'd like to see um beyond that i'm 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 open you know whatever you know don't change you know i i i honestly don't think that, that tomorrow land necessarily needs you know massive change um but and like that space needs to needs something and then like i'm not you know i i, I would be okay with letting autopia go mm -hmm. putting, something else, putting something else in there um those would be the major spots that i would be that i'd be looking at i mean since we can't, you know, we can't really expand Tomorrowland a great deal. Um, so we got to work with the space that we have. Um, so those would be the areas that I would look at. And as far as what you do with them, I don't know. I'll, I will, I will trust Disney on that. You know, it'd be kind of cool with your idea with Space 220 if they can, you know, extend the Interventions building, right? Connect it with Space Mountain. And make it like a blue bayou thing where you know you see the pirates boats going, but this time you're in space and you see the little you see the space people on Space Mountain kind of cruising by on one of the roller coaster turns. That would be pretty cool. All right. I, I, I could I could get behind that. You gotta do something about the noise, because you know, you got the roller coaster. Like, it's yeah. louder than Pirates of the Caribbean by, by a significant I'm, amount. Well, we'll see, like I'm imagining like the same space, 220, like it has those big windows. That would be the barrier. And then just through the windows, you just kind of see the rockets glide along. So they have, but those big windows will like block out any type of dining noise and roller coaster noise. So it'll be like, like Bayou, well, like Bayou, but like with a barrier. And those barriers will be like windows. And they can, the story could be like, you're in a space station and you're just watching rockets from adventurers or astronauts go by oh my god it's fantastic all right. Love it. all right i can get behind that that works for me i'll take it especially because like in the windows are like now there's <laughs> space windows so they're not like too bright so i feel like and the restaurant's lighting can be kind of dim so just 
they can figure it out to make sure the space now doesn't get too lit up. There's like one way windows. There's so oh man, that's a fantastic idea. That's so cool. Like, All right. I love it. I love All it. All right, let's we'll call it. Well, we'll call, that's our that's our prediction. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yes, and we're gonna call it. What should we? What should we call? We should call it space. 1955. All right. I like it. That works. Or we can do the year Space Mountain opened, which I don't know what year that is, but either. Disneyland was 77, I believe. I think it was the year I was born. So Space 1977. Oh, that's fantastic. Or is it 75? No, 75. At, it was 75 at Disney World and then 77 at Disneyland. I think I'm right. I might be wrong. Fantastic. Um, this is great. This is great. We got a campaign. We got a campaign Disney. Me and you. All right. Space Mountain Restaurant. My name is. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming on the channel yet again on the right. Wizards Den podcast episode six. Woohoo. Anytime, man. Thanks for having me. You have a good one. Yes, where can we find you? Uh, well, you can find me on cinemablend.com, writing about theme parks of all shapes and sizes. Um, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Child Dirk. That's at C-H-I-L-D-E underscore D-I-R-K. Dirk! Uh, I think you can also find me on Instagram on that handle, but I don't really use Instagram. So just find me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect. Well, see you on Twitter and you're going to have a trillion followers by the time this video comes out. Absolutely. And by the time you, uh, so are you, in, when are you coming to California after Lego Land? Well, I live in plant North, for, oh, as far as, as far as like Southern California, oh. I live in Northern California. Yeah, Los Angeles. Um, <laughs> at this point, at this point I, after Lego Land, I have no specific plans for, for Southern California, but I mean, it won't be long. Um, I will be down at something somewhere at some point, you know, fairly soon. Part of part of why I am here is because Southern California is very easy to get to. So, you know, I'll give you I'll give you a holler next time I'm in in uh, Universal's neck of the woods. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, guys, like, subscribe, and have a fantastic day.